Progress indeed. Uh, you know, you can see right behind me, this is the cleanup and it's in its final stages. Sanitation workers have been here all day long. This is the result of the mayor's Inside Safe program. We were here when people said goodbye to their friends and their homes. They boarded the bus with their few belongings, leaving behind what they called home on Juanita Avenue near Virtual Middle School in Koreatown. Residents who live across the street from this homeless encampment say the city is doing the right thing by cleaning up the area. For one, it's by a school. It ain't supposed to be by no school. So that's one thing, that's one reason that they had to go for sure. This is the 28th Inside Safe operation. It's a partnership between the mayor's office, city council, county, and LASA. We have been told everyone who was living at this location is now headed to nearby hotels and will be offered a pathway to permanent housing. But those who have actually lived in the streets are skeptical. Those who come strolling back one at a time. You know, one ten goes up, they all come. <laughs> It's like on the street corners and say, that's bullcrap. How come they don't, if they have shelter, how come they don't like it? Because they don't want to be indoors. The mayor's office issued a statement that says in part, the number one priority of this administration is bringing Angelinos inside. More than 1,600 Angelinos have come inside through Inside Safe, and more than 17,000 Angelinos have come inside since December total. Now, we have been told that 60 people accepted the mayor's help, and they are now part of the Inside Save program. Marla, Alex, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Gina, we see a fence next to you. How are they going to make sure that people don't come back or new people don't come back? Well, that's always a good question, and we never have the answer because, as you know, in many of the cases, they do come back. Um, you know, in Hollywood, they actually put some planters in the areas where the tents were before to prevent them from coming back. So we don't know how the city will uh, take care of this issue or what they will do to prevent the tents from popping up here. But again, that is an an that's a question. That's a good question, but we never really have a good answer for that. Well, we'll have to follow up and, and, and see as we're now zooming in. And the sanitation workers, as you said, they've been there all day. What a job that they've had. Okay, Gina, thanks so much.